this is Jason from SF Design and today I'm going to show you how to do a lofted bend using the sheet metal feature in SolidWorks 2014. So first I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to create a rectangle but I'm going to leave the top open. And I'm going to put some base dimensions on and exit the sketch. Next I'm going to create a plane 50 millimeters above my top plane for my next sketch. Create a new sketch on plane 1 and this time I'm going to place an arc in previous versions of SolidWorks you would have to put fillets on the rectangular shape to be able to loft this feature but in SolidWorks 2014 you'll be able to loft this without using fillets. All right, once you have your two sketches click on the sheet metal tab and pick lofted bend. Then it's going to ask you to select your profiles. The first profile I'm going to pick is sketch 1 which is my rectangular shape and the next profile is going to be the arc. As you can see it gives you a preview and you have um, four options here which you can pick how you want the corners to look. I'm going to pick number of bends and I'm going to put in eight segments. Once you're happy with your selection press the tick. Then from here you can create a DXF of the flat pattern. If you right click on flat pattern go to export DXF DWG pick your folder choose whether you want DXF or DWG and press yes and once you've done that you'll get your DXF DWG output options I'm gonna export geometry and bend lines as well press the tick once you've done that you'll get a preview of your flat pattern if you're happy with it, press save. Please like and subscribe for more videos on tips using SolidWorks 2014.